So about a year ago, I was running a workshop and almost everybody who came into the workshop was talking about feeling burnt out or just recovering from a burnout or they knew somebody who was recovering from a burnout and I thought, you know what, it's great that people are doing all this wonderful work in the world, but it's of absolutely no deep value if people are exhausting themselves in the process. So the challenge is really how can we do the work we want to do in the world, how can we serve as fully as we can serve and also retain a sense of our personal resilience. So resilience is really the opportunity to and the capacity to bounce back, to notice adversity, challenges that come our way, but to be able to meet them and not collapse under them, to build a muscle that enables us to bounce back to sustain ourselves in times of hardship. And what I want to suggest is a personal resilience program, a little kind of plan, and it's based on the work of the Greek philosopher Empedocles, who in the 6th century BC said that the world around us is made up of four elements, earth, air, water, and fire. And as without, so within. So we are also made up of four elements, earth, air, water, fire. So a good resilience program is one that pays attention to these four elements. And I'm just going to briefly describe them to you and then give you a few pointers as to how you could build a personal resilience program. So the earth element, the earth body, if you like, is our physical nature. It's this. It's the vehicle which, through which we do all of our work in the world. And we want to pay attention to that. We want to nourish it well. We want to exercise it well. We want to look at what diet we consume. And we also want to look at the physicality of our work. So how do I also use my voice? How do I approach things? How do I use the physicality of my being in the world? And how can I make that as resilient as I can? The water represents our mind, our thinking, our clarity, our mental dexterity. So how, how is my thinking? Am I clear? Am I bright? Am I sharp? Am I focused? Or am I dull and foggy and muddled in my thoughts? The water represents the flow of emotion. How do I feel? Am I aware of how I feel? Am I aware of how you feel? Am I aware of the space between us? How can I acknowledge it and appropriately express that? And the fire represents our spirit, our source of inspiration, the part of us that requires a sense of ultimate meaning and purpose. So these four elements, we can build a practice around each of them. So if we want to build a practice around our earth body, we want to look at, for example, what do I eat? Do I have a dietary regime? Do I just consume whatever's in front of me? Or am I mindful about that? Do I consume and notice foods that give me energy and foods that seem to sap my energy. I also want to look at my exercise regime. Do I exercise at all? Do, am I just a kind of blob that doesn't really pay attention to the, this beautiful, what could be a beautiful fine body? Do I pay attention to that? Do I have an exercise regime? <clears throat> And it's also about voice. It's also about noticing that how we speak can also be a question of resilience, actually. I can speak like this in a monotone, and by the time I finish my sentence, you may well have given up the will to live. And I might also. Or I can speak with some animation and consciously give my voice some muscle and some flexibility. And that might require exercising in the shower and singing songs and noticing when it's good to be a bit quieter. And when is it good to ramp it up and give it a bit of energy? Can I even do that? Paying attention to all that is paying attention to the earth. And building a practice that enables me to do that will build my physical resilience. Then I want to look at the air body, the mind. Do I exercise my brain? Do I do Sudoku or crosswords or brain teasers? Could I take up learning a new language? Could I, for example, study a new subject or read non-fiction books and learn some, something new, uh, consume, if you like, some new knowledge, some new information? Can I memorize five facts in a day? Can I keep my mind awake and alive? Then I want to pay attention to the water, to the emotions. Do I know how I feel? Maybe I want to pause every hour and just notice how I feel. Am I the kind of person who had a feeling once, didn't much like it, definitely don't, doesn't want to have another one, doesn't really want to be around anybody else who's having emotions, in which case the water in me is a bit dried up. But can I make space for what I feel? Can I notice what I feel? 
Or am I somebody who, somebody says to me, how do you feel? I say, I feel like a drink, which is not really a feeling. So I might want to cultivate a practice of noticing how I feel. Maybe I want to do journaling at the end of the day and notice how I felt through the day. Maybe I want to cultivate some kind of reflective practice. Something that enables me to notice how I feel and then be emotionally intelligent with how I acknowledge and express that. Because if I don't, emotions are going to get locked in my body. It's going to give me stress and tension and headaches and backaches and maybe worse. And that will for sure not build my resilience. And lastly, I want to pay attention to the fire, to the fire element, to the spirit, to being in places that sustain my soul, if you like. Do I spend time doing things that really nourish me on the deepest level? Perhaps I like to visit monasteries or churches. Perhaps I like to lie on the beach and gaze at the sky. Perhaps I want to look at the night sky and the stars. Perhaps I like to gaze at a sunset. Perhaps I like to read poetry. What is it that sustains my soul and spirit? So in essence, what I'm suggesting as an action that might flow from this little video is that you start to build a personal resilience plan. It could be a weekly plan, it could be a daily plan. For example, you might say every day I'm going to do 10 press-ups, I'm going to yodel in the shower and practice my earth body. I'm going to do a crossword each day and keep my mind agile. I'm going to pause at lunchtime and at dinner time and just notice how I feel and express that to somebody in an appropriate way. And I'm going to spend five minutes a day connecting with something that inspires me. That, for example, would be a personal resilience plan. So what is it for you? My suggestion, my wish for you is that you can do the work you want to do in the world and really enjoy it and flourish and thrive into the future. And to do that, you need to build yourself a personal resilience plan.